Hey guys, how's it going? So, this is another ARAF production. That's me, that's my channel. Please subscribe, I'll have the link in the description below. And today I am going to be showing you a tutorial for iMovie. I'll be covering titles and backgrounds in this video, and in the next videos I'll be covering the rest of what iMovie have to offer. So this is the newest version of iMovie, and as you can see, uh, it looks pretty different from the last one, and you can tell because see it's a purple logo, and before it was a gold logo, um, and the version is 10.0.2. So that's the latest that you can have for iMovie, and it's pretty different from some of the other ones, so this is why I'm doing a video. So you have these three buttons up here for import, create, and share. You really don't use any of these except for share and create. So, and then here you have two tabs for library and theater. So we're in the library tab right now. And you also have theater, which you have um, all your projects in here that you will make. And here you have enhance and adjust, which you will use throughout your movie when you're creating your movie. So for now, if you want to create your movie, you're going to go to create. And you have a choice to create a movie or a trailer. So click on movie and it's going to load up a nice little theme section. And you have all these themes for, you know, news reports and comic books and photo albums and all that good stuff. But we're just going to go for no theme because we want to create our own, customize it. So you can name it whatever you want because it can be changed at any time. So just name it things if you want to. And then you can put it in updated projects that's where I like to put it. And you just press OK. And then it's going to load your project. So here you'll have things from your previous project. You want to use, you know, pictures and maybe from your previous project will be here. Um, so if you're wondering what all these weird pictures are about, definitely watch my previous video and it all makes sense. And I'll have a link to my previous video in the link in the in the description below. So if you want to create um, your movie, it's going to be down here in this section. Um, you can add your clips, your pictures, your videos, your music will be here and all that other good stuff. And here is the title of your video here and this section here tells you how long your video is. So obviously right now it's zero seconds, but you can start off with the um, video and then it'll make it longer. Um, so here in the left hand corner you have different things that you can do to your video like add positions, titles, backgrounds, and, you know, music from your iTunes section, sound effects are, are really cool in this art movie section, and garage band. And over here in the section is a zoom feature, um, which I'll show you a little later. And here is where you see how your art movie is coming out. So first of all, you might usually want you usually want to start off with a title because everything starts with a title like your essays start with a title books start with a title but when you're making a movie and you want to have um, something else but a black background you want to start off with the background section before you add in your title and I learned this the hard way because I added in a title first and everything got a little messed up so to start off with the background first. So if you go to the background section, you have your maps up here, which no one really uses, but you can go through them if you want. And here is your background. So if you click on it, you have this curtain like one. If you go from left to right with your mouse, you can see how it moves. Kind of cool. So some of them move, some of them don't. These move. This is my favorite one. And if you look at my previous video on my channel, I use this background. I like it. It's pretty nice. So if you add it in here, drag it and move with your mouse and see how it just comes up like that. Just let go of your mouse and it'll be in your video. Now you can see it's four seconds long. It has a little thing here and a little thing here. You can make it shorter if you want. Let's just make it 2.0 seconds. Why not? Now that you have your background, you can build on that, whatever you want to put in. So the next thing we can do is put in a title. So go to your title section. And it'll come up here. So if you have all of them have a black background, don't worry because you already have a background here. So your title will take on the background of what you put in. So these are different things you can go over and you can see how this like kind of zooms in, this sort of is like down there, this sort of expands out, I'll expand. 
And here you have expanding on the lower third because, hello, expand lower third. Alright, so there's a lot of things here. Some are actually colored, some aren't. You know, you can just play with it and do whatever you want. Um, you know, in terms of changing the color and the font and the size of the actual text, most of the titles you can't. Um, but there are few that you can. And I'll show you which one you can in just a second. So the ones that you can, you're just going to go through them. But one I know for sure that works is this one called Upper. And it says name, but honestly you can put any text you want in there. You don't have to put like a name or other color. So you're just going to drag it in and put it on top of your background. So. And you know that it's a title that's going to work because see how narrow this thing, the purple box is? That's how you know you're, you're doing the right thing. You're not going down the, the wrong, you're not going the wrong direction. So now when you have your, it, your, you have your title above the background, just double click on the name section and see how it comes up highlighted over here. And then you can change it to whatever you want, like subscribe, sub Arrive to a uh, production. Anything you want. And then you can double click on it to change the font here. You can change the color of the new because that's practically the best font out there. And you can change it to whatever size you want, make it as big as you want, and you can center it if you want, make it bold if you want, italicize if you want. I don't want it. But, and this new feature here is make the text outline. So see how there's a black background, like highlighting outline around your letters? So this, if you, if you press it, if you click on O, it takes it away. But if you do want the outline, it's there. It's kind of a cool feature. So what you can do is then afterwards, is change the color. So click on the color square right here, and a box appears. And you can change it to whatever color you want. Um, you can change it the different palettes, you know, the different tints and all this other stuff. You can play around with that, but these are the basic colors I have. I like the yellow because it goes here with the orange background. When you're done, it'll show you how it looks here. Press the exit button, and there you go. You now have your, your title here. And it shows up your text over here, so you know that it's working good. And if you want to see how it looks with the background, you're just going to move this cursor back to the beginning. And over here, go to your uh, section here and just press close. So that's how it looks. Looks pretty good so far. Alright. And this here is full screen, so it will make the, this box, this iMovie box, will be the entire screen of your computer or whatever you're working on. And then these are your line buttons and fast forward buttons, which you really shouldn't use. Just use the play button and then go back and use this to move it. It's much easier. And then this section that I was talking about, the zoom feature, um, so right now it's fully zoomed, right? So if you put it back, you see how the clips sort of shorten? That's if you can have multiple clips, like a lot of clips in your movie, then you can quickly see all of them and adjust all of them at once. But if you just want to work on just one clip at a time, just, you know, zoom in all the way. But I like to keep it at the second to last one because, I don't know, I feel like that's the best one. So this is just backgrounds and titles. Um, for iMovie, there's a bunch of title things that you can use, there's a bunch of backgrounds you can use, use, so it's pretty cool, and you can also change, you know, the background, the way it looks, you have this for, like, balancing the tones and all that, and just, like, changing, you know, the, something, like, the darkening, you know, this is, like, changing the color in a way, this is, like, making it colder, warmer, you know, so that's pretty cool. And this is for cropping. Whenever you're cropping a section, make sure it's on fit. If it's on crop or can burn, especially, it's not going to burn. Like it zooms in and out the photo while it plays or your clip while it plays. And sometimes people like it, but I just do like over fit. So that's the best way to do it. So you have those things. And this over here is pretty cool. It's video effects. So you could have, um, so far we have none because when you play and nothing happens, right? So it's background and everything, you can like, you know, do raster, see how it changes the little color, you can have cartoon, you can have day and tonight, you can have hard light, all these different things, it's pretty cool. 
you can go through all of these, you can add it to your thing. If you want to add it, just click on it, and there you go with that. It. You don't have to drag it in or anything, so it's all there for you. And then when you're done, you can just, you know, go back. See, I can use the line button for one clip. That works because you only have one clip. If you have multiple clips, just use this to get it. It's much easier. And then press play, and then that's how it looks. So again, subscribe to Airwrap Productions. That's me. And stay tuned for more I movie tutorials. Um, I'll have a link in the description for my channel and for my previous video that I had made. And also subscribe to two really good channels. One is I Advise Fall, so I'll have a link for that in the description. And also subscribe to The Lawfology. Really, really good channel for knowing how to draw and a bunch of other cartoon-like videos, which is really cool. And I'll have a link in the description for that as well. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel. And I hope this helped. Thanks. And I hope this helped. And I hope you all enjoyed, and go fish! Alright, see ya!